Hi YouTube, long time no see. So I just watched my last video, my um, A6 Brodia setup and um, I was sounding so depressed. What was wrong? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just here today to show you my um, current um, bullet journal which is an A5 Moleskine notebook. Um, I switched to A5 size for uh, one main reason, that is that I wanted to have my whole year in a single notebook. As much as I like the A6 size for its portability, um, having everything in a single planner makes, uh, makes it really more efficient for uh, my planning. So that's why I decided to try the A5 size again in 2020 and so far it's it's working. So I'll okay, give you a quick so. tour of my A5 bullet journal for 2020 and I will show you how I use it uh, on a daily basis. So as I said at the beginning of the video I chose a Lurktum 1917 notebook for 2020 and uh, the reason for that is that they are the only um, notebook with 250 pages which is well, what I thought I would need uh, in order to stay in a single notebook from day one to day 365. So, let's begin with the beginning. Alright, so let's start with the index. Um, as you can see, um, I've filled it in, but I never refer to it like I never look at my index it's not I don't know if I'm looking for something I'm just going to flip through the the notebook until I find what I'm looking for and yeah I, I never refer to it so I think I will not use the index of my next notebook because like really no point for me. At the beginning of the year I had decided to do a calendex system for my uh, future log and what happened is that, okay, maybe you can see it through the page. So I had drawn um, columns for my calendex, and then I realized, okay, this is all very pretty, but I need to flip to another page to see what I actually have planned. So at first I used that first page of the notebook that I was um, keeping for like a cover page or something and then I was like, okay, I need to use this as a future log. Um, I don't know what's the word, a carryover, I think, something like that. So I started writing all of this and then I had to actually go to another page, page 25, so several pages <laughs> later and I was like, no this is not gonna work for me. So what I did and what I've done uh, several times all along this notebook is that I used an old Lertum notebook with, uh, <laughs> with tan lines actually um, to cut pages and glue them on my bullet journal so that whenever I'm not using a spread anymore or if I feel like <laughs> I butchered something and made it really ugly. I can just like cut a page, glue it there and start over. I love this about bullet journaling as well. So I actually used the classic uh, future lock system and that's what works best for me with like a tiny calendar at the top, events and then a section for tasks if there are tasks for that month. So as you can see, as I did this like, I don't remember, in May probably, well I did my future log um, starting from June, but of course at the beginning my bullet, my future log, sorry, was starting in uh, February. So I had a full page for later and obviously I'm not <laughs> gonna need that much space for later events. Uh, so then I have my 2020 goals, my Q1 goals, my Q2 goals, quarter one, quarter two. Uh, it's obvious for me, I guess, but might not be for you if you don't use um, this planning system. Uh, my Q2 goals on page 84, so um, 
what I did for like what no 84 focus okay over there so what I did for course 3 and 4 is that um, I was not using the page after uh, this one which was like um, a routine timetable but then um, COVID happened and you know uh, it all went out the window so I did again the um, cut and glue thing and so now I have my quarter three goals and I have space for my quarter four goals uh, when that comes up later on so when did I last which I'm not using because most of the sections I created were stupid like sheets like for real was I planning to wash my sheets only I think I have 16 times so yeah <laughs> wouldn't be enough so I, I have no idea what is written here to be fair I swear I, I wash my sheets more than once this year I promise you will have to trust me on this one but yeah when I'm doing my nails because I do them myself uh, I never use that in the end this is for my bunnies uh, vet appointments I'll show you a picture of my bunnies because they're very cute um, how often I wear my retainers <clears throat> Um, yeah, I won't comment on that. And uh, what else? Anxiety and <laughs> when did I, um, you know, got rid of the lime scale? Is that the right word? In my kettle, because we do have a lot of lime scale where I live. I basically need to do it every month, so I actually stop writing it and from time to time I'm just doing it and not writing it down. Anyway, wish lists, my planned expenses, I love this page, I'm always using it, like, you know, um, I do my budgets on Excel and then <clears throat> I refer to this page and see, okay, I want to save, I don't know, like 400 this month, but, oh, you have um, so-and-so's birthday, so, you know, you have to, uh, like, save a bit for the presents and stuff, you know? So that's really useful. Um, and then it comes into my first monthly. So I do it in a pretty, like, classic way, I'd say. Um, I have a color code for my events. Purple is for social events, uh, like the peach uh, one is for birthdays. Pink is personal, yellow is appointments and blue is work. I also have green for holidays. So yeah, nothing too exciting over here, but as you can see, I'm still using that method. Um, a task which has no appointed date is gonna be uh, written down next to a box or a dot, depends on how I'm feeling that month. And then um, if I have a scheduled task, something that I need to do on a special day, it's going to get written in a box with the day, like the, the number of the day, well, you know what I mean. So yeah, trackers, brain dump, oh, this is my finances section as, <laughs> once again, it's uh, another page that I glued on top. I have um, like this table with my um, finances, so our income, uh, expenses, what's left in total and then the savings and then I did this uh, little graph for savings each month like how much we saved or <laughs> lost in the case that we buy something expensive just like a few months ago when we bought a dishwasher and I mean why did we wait for so long before getting a dishwasher that's that's my only question I don't I don't regret this <laughs> It was worth every euro we spent on this. Then we have the monthly budget. So every um, part of these two pages are again on an Excel spreadsheet uh, on my computer, but I like having um, this in my bojo as well. So, you know. Okay, so this was where the calendar carry over was at the beginning and I had to flip through my notebook to find uh, like events and, and tasks and dates and stuff. This was a pain. I have a home projects list, a projects list, 
projects that are ongoing and uh, that I can work on whenever I have time. Uh, my blog schedule, as you can see I was a very bad blogger this year. <laughs> And then some dailies, at least. So, as you will see, um, I always change my mind. I'm sometimes using the classic uh, rolling dailies method, just like um, writer Carol's, well, his method, I mean. And sometimes I'm drawing like very elaborate weeklies and stuff. It really depends on my mood and, you know, uh, a few project notes in between dailies. Uh, work stuff, planning for my trip to the USA. I was so lucky, you guys. Another teacher at the school where I work asked me if I wanted to come to the USA trip, and I said, Yeah, of course I want to. And we uh, visited from um, February 14th to March, no, yeah, to February 28th, and then we came back in like 15 days later all trips were cancelled and we were um, um, in quarantine so I mean we were very lucky um, so weeklies 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 so yeah that's that's when I was in the United States over there So as you can see, this is um, a weekly spread and not like um, um, rolling dailies per se, um, because you have a um, list of weekly tasks and then a small habit trackers. And as you can see, um, as far as the tasks are concerned, I can write. Well, I sometimes write um, the day I plan on doing those things. So then, when I start my daily, I can just refer to this and add it to my daily column. So I did this for a while and then um, March was the <laughs> corona month, you know, for us anyway. March, April and a bit of May were spent in isolation. So, I mean, I didn't have any social events or whatever and, and I didn't have any motivation. I mean I was just doing my work on my computer because we were still doing like um, online classes and stuff for the kids but you know I wasn't feeling like doing anything else. I didn't read, I didn't sew, I, I don't know, I just spent all my free time on Netflix and YouTube and uh, probably sleeping and eating. But yeah. Uh, at some points I used the GTD component, which is the next actions list, and well, I, it doesn't work. I, I'm always trying and it never works. If, if I don't have my tasks on my monthly or on my weekly pages, I'm not going to do them. Simple as that. Like, <laughs> we have um, an idiom in France which says, far from the eyes, far from the heart. Well, I mean, <laughs> this is true. Um, okay, Dave Sadie's month of April. So, this is <laughs> I had five events planned in April, and some of them were like meetings at school that we did online, if I remember correctly. So, <laughs> so once again, tasks, goals, projects, waiting for my tracking, brain dump. Uh, a few guidelines for working from home that I found online. I think it was, it's from a YouTube video, but I don't, I don't really remember, to be honest. So, um, this is the time where I started doing more elaborate weeklies, as I was saying. Uh, these are for my water intake. My um, tasks, a weekly tracker notes, um, like um, a daily schedule and then tasks. 
So my goals for quarter two, April holidays list. So like things I had to do for work during the holidays. Another weekly. Man, can you see how ugly these titles are? Like, for real. I wasn't even trying, was I? I like this, though. It's a um, sleep tracker. But it's really like, you know, it's pretty, but I don't need it. I, <laughs> I sleep very well. So. I tried the um, Alast Maith. No, what's the name of this? I don't remember the name of this method, but you know, you write your task and then you check when you did this and same. If it's not on a special day, I'm like, okay, I still have time, I'll do this later, like tomorrow or something, and then I never do it. So yeah, I need to write stuff where it belongs. I like this uh, weekly spread. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, these are not my weekly spreads. I. I just like see them on Instagram or YouTube and I try and copy them. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. But yeah, I like the way this is. Uh, oh, I think this is Minimalist Bujo on um, Instagram. I will try and find you the link. May spread, the monthly tracker, brain dump. Same, this was 100% copied for something else. From someone else, sorry. Uh, sometimes I try to write where my time went. I, if you've seen my video on my A6 road, yeah, I used to do this also. June monthly. July. So yeah, <laughs> it was the end of quarantine for us. So as you can see, we had quite a lot of social events planned. It's uh, all of the purple. Um, stuff. So yeah. <laughs> I started writing my uh, expenses, like leisure expenses. I started doing this in June and I'm going to keep doing this. It helps me see where the money is going. But to be fair, where we spend the most is not like for leisure and small stuff, it's it's for food and alcohol and uh, and the um, um, lettuce for our rabbits, uh, which is quite expensive <laughs> because they eat fresh baked veggies um, morning and night. So yeah, that adds up quickly. This is um, a few notes and uh, stuff I have to do for um, the beginning of the next school year. Uh, we're not sure yet how it's gonna play out. I mean, are we going back to school full time? Uh, will we have like half groups or something? Like, I have no idea if now it all depends on how the situation evolves during the summer, so we'll see. But yeah, these are my lesson plans and stuff for the coming year. Yeah, as you can see, this was a very light week. And here we are. And here is my August monthly, which is already ready. I don't know, I mean, I never do this, but I felt like doing it, so I thought, why not? I think it looks pretty. So, yeah, um, this is it for um, my 2020 uh, bullet journal so far, and uh, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, let me know.